TV, Aaron Rodgers. You almost forgot about Giannis. You should come to your mind quicker than that, Chuck and Shaq. You're right, A-Rod. I right. apologize, Mr. Rodgers. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, Mr. Rodgers. Uh, okay. Never happened again. Uh, you're right, A-Rod. I love Aaron Rodgers. He's one of my favorite players. Last season for the Denver Nuggets ended in bitter disappointment. An overtime loss in Minnesota on the last night of the regular season kept them out of the playoffs. They have rebounded this year with the fourth best record in the NBA, led by Nikola Jokic and his eight triple doubles. And the Joker is a first time all star in his fourth NBA season. And he joins us now. Congratulations, Nikola, on the all star nod from the coaches. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. It means a lot. Thank you a lot. So, uh, how did you get the word today? And, and forgive me for not knowing, do you have, still have family in Serbia? No, no, my, my, my brothers are here, my girlfriend is here, so the, the, the usual family that lives with me is here, so it's cool. What was the first call they, you made they, to they let them know? Here. What was the first phone call you made? No, we have, a, we have a group message. I didn't call them. I just texted them. I'm, I'm almost uh, <laughs> they, 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 they were They were surprised, I think, more than I am because uh, my girlfriend starts to cry and my brother started yelling and screaming at me. I was like, I mean, guys, come on. <laughs> Let's walk. Hey, Nicola, number one, congratulations on a fantastic season. My question is, when I watch you play, I think you'd rather pass the ball than score. Is that true? Uh, I can I can pass a little bit, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's my that's my that's my kind of biggest biggest strength, I can say. Nick, uh, this is Shaq having a great year, loving your game. Uh, were you disappointed that uh, another guy from your team didn't make the All Star game with the success that you guys are having? Actually, yes. Uh, not just uh, not just a big game, All Star game. I think we had a couple of rising stars. Uh, Monte Morris is playing extremely good for us. Uh, Tori Craig is playing really good for us. So I think we had a, uh, like people could talk a little bit more uh, about them too. You know, it's not it's not just me. This is not just my success. It's, it's all about the team, the coach, um, the coaches. You know, so it's not just me. But uh, you guys pick me, pick just me. So. Well, you know, it seems like your lack of excitement comes from the fact maybe that you think that you have some bigger goals for the Denver Nuggets, and do you think in that I'm, spirited yes, Western of Conference? Course. I mean, I think, uh, I mean, when we started the season, I didn't, I didn't think that I'm going to be a, a all-star. I wanted to be a playoff team, maybe to go to finals, maybe win a championship, you know. So this is just uh, kind of a little trophy, trophy to me to give me more uh, like to embrace me to uh, keep working hard keep working every day to get better and um, to, <laughs> to shock the world maybe you know hey, eight triple doubles this year 24 in your career the only center with more is Wilt Chamberlain now when you hear something like that what does it make you feel I'm I'm surprised to be honest I, I thought that uh, like that there is more players, and I'm Shaq. I, th I thought he has more, but uh, uh, <laughs> but I guess not. So <laughs> I'm gonna try. I, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to uh, try to, to keep doing what I'm doing. Maybe to kind of put some legacy behind me, if that makes any sense, you know. Nicola, clearly you didn't watch Shaq play. He don't pass the ball. Sure don't. <laughs> uh, I sure I don't. don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he can he can jump and block the shots at least. Hey Nico, we got a Good we got a him. tweet here that Will Barton put out there. Congratulations, uh, AKA uh, Big Honey. Big Honey, uh, that's your nickname. Much deserved All Star uh, selection. Don. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. Big yeah. Honey, hey Big Honey. So what do you prefer, uh, Joker or Big Honey? I like Big Honey. Yeah, I'm going to take Joker. I'm going to take Joker. Yeah. Uh, There's a real story behind day. Big Honey. There's hey, a Big real honey. story. Hey, Big Honey, come on, switch it up. Stop. <laughs> Big Honey, no. Oh, yeah, you shouldn't have told uh, us that one. Well, like, you, you may prefer well, Joker, he made, but... He made me... He made me... My bad. No, 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 <laughs> go ahead. 
<laughs> no, no, he made me nervous right now. I'm sweating right now because that big honey is <laughs> killing me. Well, that's big all honey. we're going to call you from this point on. Uh, but we'll call you all-star, too. Nikola Jokic, congratulations uh, on your selection as an all-star this year. We'll see you in Charlotte, all right? Bye, big honey. Yeah, I know. I know the Charles is really. I, I, I know the Charles is really exciting, but Shaq is not. So I mean, thank you, Charles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's uh, awesome. When we come back, uh, we're going to check out Jordan Brand's All Star Central. Just a, a short walk down the halls of Turner Studios. You know who he reminds me of? The guy I played with Brad Dari. There may very well be no athlete more important in American sports than Jackie Robinson. His breaking of the baseball color barrier in 1947 was one of the most influential events in the nation's history. The Hall of Famer was born 100 years ago today. And while baseball is the sport he's known for, basketball might have been his best sport. On February 10th, Beyond the Paint will examine Robinson's basketball talent as well as his social impact. Here's a preview. To answer the question of how good Jackie was at basketball, it's my strong opinion that that was his best sport. Mac Robinson used to say he, my brother was lightning quick. And maybe he would have developed a crossover and broke somebody's ankle. He was a leaper. He was a rebounder. He was a ball handler. He was a scorer inside. He could shoot from outside. You know, just an all-around game. And if you read in the yearbooks, as a basketball player, they describe him as being very quick, fast, a good defensive player, and a scorer. He led it in four sports at UCLA. He is still the leader in yards per carry from scrimmage in football. And he led it in football, track and field, baseball, and basketball. Yeah, he was Bo Jackson before Bo Jackson. My dad was not one to um, boast. My dad wasn't like that, but I did have a trophy room in our house. So I sort of understood his multiple sports by the types of trophies we had. So we had a basketball one, we had his football cleat, which was bronzed. Um, you know, so that's kind of how I learned about his other sports. This is from the Cleveland Call and Post, which is an African-American newspaper in, from 1946. Robinson, who was outstanding in four sports at UCLA, has this year made the transition from baseball to basketball without the slightest hitch and with more than a dozen pro games under his belt is destined to be one of the game's outstanding forwards. And I'll wait to see that on NBA TV I on Sunday, watch that one. Never February knew that. 10th. Never knew he played basketball. Yeah. Well, I never knew any of that. Because um, going, you know, living in Los Angeles and, and former UCLA head coach Steve Alford, so when I went to visit him and hang out with those guys, I, I saw all of those things maybe about eight years, ago, like seven years ago, when we went and read about all of the things that Jackie had done there. I knew about football and basketball just because I'm a basketball lover, but I didn't know about the track uh, as well, that aspect, just the overall understanding of how great he was and how influ influential he was in terms of breaking the curl barrier. But break, not, and when you say break the curl barrier, Ernie, it's breaking the mental barrier of what what people could do based on what they are. What's cool is that, um, you know, my dad played Major League Baseball and uh, played against Jackie Robinson. Yeah, and it was so cool to talk to my dad about, so what was it like when, when you were on the field, uh, uh, you know, playing against Jackie? And he just talked about what a threat he was as a hitter, as a base runner. Uh, how you could hear him coming and how he played all out. And he also was funny. He said, my dad was at the plate one day. My dad's a pitcher, and so my dad's at the plate. And Jackie Robinson's at first base, playing first base. And he had kind of the high-pitched voice, and he's like, he looks at my dad and says, oh, pretty good hitter. And my dad started laughing, and Jackie started laughing uh, <laughs> because he was just busting him at the plate. So uh, very special. A hundred, a hundred years ago, Jackie right. Robinson wow. board. That's amazing. You know, we can never, uh, speaking as a black man, I can never be thankful enough for Muhammad Ali, Mr. Robinson, John Carlos, Tommy Smith, all those guys, Bill Russell, Bill Russell Jim Brown, because to, to play sports in that day, the, 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 the mental stress, I mean, first of all, sports are hard enough just to play, but the mental stress and the sacrifices those guys made made it possible for guys like us to do our job. Uh, and so uh, every time you see one of those guys, I tell them, man, I can't thank you enough 
And again, February 10th on NBA TV at 6.30. You can catch that that special on Jackie Robinson and his basketball uh, it, career. I oh, gave it to Jackie Robinson. You know, a, 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 week, <laughs> a week from now, we're going to be doing the, uh, the All-Star Draft. Yes. Yes. Uh, team LeBron, Team Giannis. You want to know where we're going to be doing that? Where's that? We're going to be doing that in Studio D. Um, and we're going to take a, just a, a little stroll to Studio think, D. Think, uh, and this bronze first pick is who, Chuck? Um, well, let's we'll talk about that later. Let's <laughs> talk about let's talk about what uh, what folks are going to see at home because they've never seen this part of. Turner they've never seen us walk. They've never actually. seen this part well, of. It's, it's just Studios. dungeon back there. No, By the way, right. I got the Jordan Six infrareds on here. Ooh, well, these Ernie. things. Oh, those are nice. Those, those are nice. Really right nice because we are going. You got we trip. are going I to. Oh, what the yeah. hell out here? Yeah. We're we're gonna my we're people, gonna go. My people. As always, we got Cirque du Soleil hanging out here. And hey, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? It's underdog, it's underdog, 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 underdog. Y'all see what he's doing over here? Down with dog. Let's just. He look good. All the time when we're here. Do that move again. That girl got her leg up on her head. Do that move again, underdog. Down with dog. Yeah, I like how you do downward dog. <laughs> and hands Unbelievable. off the Hands off the circle. I can't believe we're going to stop watching that to walk down this dingy hallway. No, this, Charles, you've probably never been down this this hallway. Because there's right? nothing back here. Well, this sure is where NBA is. TV, yeah. we, we, when I do it over here. That's hey, NBA right. TV. There you go. Uh, Thank you. Oh, uh, Shaq is just yep, giving out $100 bills. That's and, right. And, you know how we yeah, do okay. it. Shaq's giving out And you know, bills. during, during, uh, the Super Bowl week, you know, Dan Patrick is doing his thank you for your service, show here Appreciate with you. Bill <laughs> Callen. Very nice. Oh, Bill Callen. Yes. Yeah, so. Underdog. Here you go, wait, baby. Underdog. How did you get from Cirque du Soleil? Wait, wait, wait. How did amazing. Underdog get two places? You are amazing. Here you go, brother. Oh, are those real hundreds? Yeah, yeah. they're real hundreds. No, he always do that. Around. He does that every night. The bank of is always <laughs> open, <laughs> baby. Yeah. Okay, brother. So Dan Patrick yeah, is doing Super his Bowl show here. Rich, Rich Eisen is doing his show in this very studio. Right here, as a matter of fact. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, Shaq, you were on today, right? I yes, was well. I was on today. I, I was too. Were you really, Kenny? Yeah, shows the air tomorrow. Yeah, so here's uh, here's the way he's got it all laid out here. Rich Eisen, one of the true Can great guys. One? Oh. one of the true oh. great hey, guys. Give him 100. He just Look at ball. Chuckster. Here you go, brother. Oh. Thank you. Thank Give you. Give her two, because she looks No, she gets more. Okay. Here you go, young hey, lady. Can I tackle this thing? Yes. Go ahead. Don't hurt yourself now. Good job. Watch out, Chuck. So you how good I am. You catch that? Oh, oh we Rich, had a contest. Rich is like not this gonna like it if we're uh, if we're destroying the set. <laughs> okay, all right. And you could sit hey, here hey, all Shaq. day. Shaq, you could sit leave, here all day leave, leave and not them, throw uh, one in. A couple there. of hundreds because we just took the balls out. Oh, right. for Rich. Oh, yeah. the great Willie McGinnis. Leave a couple hundreds. Guys, there. we're almost there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're, we're not almost no, we're almost was here. Studio D. Well, Rich don't get all this money. I need to get that. Rich got a live audience in here? Yeah. He had a good audience. All right. It's pretty good today. Are, are we here? We're, we're, no, we're, almost, we're there. almost. Wait. To wait. Draft Central. Jordan. Uh, hey, hey, Shaq. Draft Central. Hey, Andy, hey, hey, look. Oh, we got some more money to oh, give there out. Go. Go. Fellas, there you go. Table. Thank you. How much you care? Oh, so no. Come on. Okay. Guys, we're almost there. You've done very well. Shaq is tired. Where are we? I'll, show, I'll tell you exactly. I'm going to be tired of whooping your ass. I'll tell you, you exactly where we are. <laughs> Check, real TV. I'm going to put you in this headlock. I'm telling where you. Where right are now. we? Are we here? Hey. This is, this is a, oh, here's oh, underdog here. Underdog here is again here. My man, here you go. Here you go, here you go. Hey, it's go. all over the place. You know Appreciate you. Every week. Yeah. Every week. Appreciate your sir. J Dog. Yeah. Shot that commercial yesterday, yeah. boy. Yeah. Underdog. underdog. So here we are, gang. Appreciate you. Thank Jordan, you very much. Jordan Brand Draft Central. My guy. Wow. Nice. Nice. We are the bold, the feared, and the emulated. The icons, the all-stars, and the future. To every player who's determined to leave their mark, this game is yours. Own it. Where we going? Where we going here? I love yes. these right I here. Knew, I knew you would get right to the shoes I, that we want to look at. Those I love these. Who, who do you think those are? Chuckster? Um, Kyrie Irving. Oh, think of real style and flashy and bright. 
This oh, James is, uh, Harden. No, this is uh, Russell yeah, Westbrook. Russell Westbrook, Westbrook. Yeah. exactly. These are sweet right here. But why not 0.2? Yeah, I saw those. I actually gave him a shout out when I saw those. Yeah. Those are sweet right there, too. Those, are the, ones, those are the ones I got on right now, as a matter well, of fact. Well, what are Barclays at? Well, hold on, man. This, and this is. You were with Nike? He never knew that. He's a well, the Air Jordan 6 infrareds. And you got these, your own shoe? Yeah. This, this, is, this, is what, this is what MJ wore in 1991, last time the game was in Charlotte. You remember the game in Charlotte? In yes, I do. Because you were the MVP. Exactly. Could right. you imagine, Ernie, if I if he never game played with me in North points. Carolina? None yeah. of this would be. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what. Let me say this points. about. Let me say this one thing about Michael Jordan. Yeah. Obviously, he's the goat. But the number one thing he did, he's the first guy that made shoes fashionable. And he's the reason that all these guys are making money with their own signature shoes today. Without make. question. This is the Nike Adapt BB. Is, is this the one that laces up on its own? Yes. Power lacing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, here's all you got. You, you push oh, you this. Hit a button. Power lacing. Oh, that's nice. Hey, I thought it was an app on your phone. No, you, you yeah. can do it on your on your phone as well. You can, oh, that feels I, good. Huh? I, I don't think that you would. We, I don't think you would try to do anything from an so app. So all I have the question is, you would wait. Do we get every on your pair of these? Your shoes on. Do I have every pair in my locker? Do, all right. So uh, you know, it's amazing that you can push a button and tie your shoes now. Yeah. Listen, yeah, that would have saved you a lot of trouble because you can't do it right now. So you need those. I almost you said, can't, tuck your you shirt can't, in, no, man. Yeah, yeah. You don't have yours tucked in. So you like the digs here? Oh, this no, is, this is where we're going to be doing the draft uh, next week. Team LeBron Ooh. against. I think those are Scott team, and like against right Team Giannis. Ooh, look at the Max. These and, are Max. And when we come back, we're going to kind of give you a preview and figure out who these guys would pick if they were the captains. Okay. We'll be back.